We're in the uh, Rec 7 assembly cell, and some of the things we've done on the Rec 7 Gen 2 that I'm really, really happy with is the new handguard. This is our new key mod uh, rail system that we make in-house. The extrusion we have made, we machine it in-house. It is light, it's slim, it's not bulky, but what you can't see that's so great about the gun is under the handguard. It's the way we're attaining the gas block. We're using a locking collar nut instead of any kind of cross pins or clamping bolts or set screws. So now the user can actually remove this nut with a simple hand tool with a wrench and the gas block comes off. So now this gas block is user serviceable. You can clean it off of the rifle if it needed to be submerged in a solvent to clean out the, uh, the cylinder. You can also inspect the gas port on the barrel and on the gas block. The way the gas block is uh, retained onto the barrel is on this surface here, and there's an indexing notch on the barrel and a tab on the gas block. So it cannot be installed in the incorrect index. It always lines back up top dead center, then the nut simply holds it back in place. It's very robust. If you were to purchase this rifle, it would come with standard, a Barrett branded soft case, two magazines, PRI flip-up sights, the PWS triad muzzle brake, as well as the PWS key mod rail attachment. The rifle is standard with the Magpul furniture that you see. This particular version is in 5.56 caliber. It is painted tungsten gray. All of our versions are Cerakoted. They come in black, olive drab, green, FDE, flat dark earth. Rifles are standard with a cold hammer forged chrome line barrel. Uh, the 5.56 version has a one in seven twist and our 6.8 SPC rifles have a one in 10 twist. We have a redesigned front gas block uh, for our one piece piston design. You also notice the two position gas block. You can get in there and open it up to remove your piston for cleaning. With the two positions, you can run it suppressed or unsuppressed. This is a nickel Teflon coating that we've chosen over the normal parkerizing. The uh, generation two comes with um, Geisley SSA trigger. There is a version coming out that has the uh, ALG Defense ACT trigger. If they're legal in your state, factory short barrel rifles are available too in the Rec 7 platform. This rifle has a nine and a quarter inch barrel. It comes in 5.56 and 6.8 and it is uh, just incredibly reliable, which is something that you can't say for a lot of rifles that are this short. All of the Rec. 7s use a two position gas port or a gas plug that adjusts the size of the gas port. So they're able to be set up to be shot without a suppressor or with a suppressor attached to kind of regulate the amount of gas that reaches the piston system. It's just a very good overall design, very robust, very reliable. In fact, the name uh, REC7, R-E-C-7, stands for Reliability Enhanced Carbine.